all right guys i'm aggravated i'm gonna end the video because i'm done need a workbench man ruin that piece all right i got a whole lot of editing to do i was cussing I almost cussed. Welcome to the channel. Man, guess where I'm at? Yeah, you already know. We are out on the screen patio. And today, we're going to start knocking this thing out, man. I have been putting things off and putting them off, and we're not doing it anymore. And I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today. Who is making noise in there? Who? What? I can't let you babies out of here. Let me go some, get, I'm gonna be in there working soon. <sighs> Sorry for the interruptions, guys. Take a look at this. Oh, not how I envision this place looking. It's a mess. It is an utter mess. Why did I put this carpeting down? It's a mess. Uh, and see how these things just flap in the breeze? I don't like that. So I'm going to show you what we, we're going to do today. Yeah, come on. As Mr. Rogers says. Good morning, Miss Libby Lou. You still with me? Come on. We are going to put insulated wallboard in the windows. We're going to insulate the entire screen patio. This stuff is cool, man. Yeah. Uh, set me back a little bit, but it's going to be easy to work with. It's an inch thick. It has this reflective foil on it, which is really good. And I'm going to put the reflective side out. Uh, that would look pretty good, I think. I'm still going to leave the shades on. <coughs> but, I don't know. We'll cut a piece. We'll put it both ways. Because it looks like it's waterproof. And we'll see how it does. Uh, I want to get it tight enough up against the screen to where I don't have water building up in there. Which is, it's all, it's all treated. It's not going to hurt nothing. But we just still don't want that. But you can see, I mean, this wasn't like this in the spring. And now all the wind's just blowing in there. I can't do anything in there. So we're going to get that done. Also, I'm going to pull these off. And I'm going to insulate in there as well, because why do that and not that? And we're going to put insulation up in here. I don't have enough to do all that today. Uh, let's go in the dog apartment. <coughs> there are some spots I'm going to need it. And this place is a mess as well. Uh, I do have some of that left, but not much. Hey, now I'm trying to do a movie. And I've got enough of that left to finish these. But, I'm going to utilize some of that probably up in there. Uh, around the air conditioner. I need to go cover that air conditioner on the outside. To get, you know, keep those condensers from getting damaged. And we need to put you on Facebook Marketplace. Let's see if anybody wants to buy you, Waldo. Do you think anybody wants to buy you? I don't think they will. Because you destroy blankets and things. And so we're going to start in the uh, screen patio. We're going to work our way into here over the course of the next few weeks. Going to get it all wired up. We're going to get it all plumbed up. Get the washer and dryer. You better quit. Washer and dryer in here. And the wall board on. The problems I am having is I am having water seep in from what I showed you guys before where that foundation on the outside is sloped downward. So I've got to come up with something to prevent that from happening. 
I've got a few ideas probably just I'm gonna get some cement and and go on top and then slope it down that'll fix that problem for good <sighs> a lot of this I'll have to pull back off because I'm gonna drill holes for the wiring and plumbing uh, some of it looks good some of it looks terrible all that on the bottom needs to be trimmed off obviously uh, and some of this put back up I don't know what I got going this may be a good place for the wall board yeah it will be because this stuff just didn't, didn't fit right in there all right man I'm gonna get some measurements and we're gonna start cutting that stuff and get it up so we're gonna pump out a lot of videos we're gonna knock this off uh, the best we can now off the top of my head what needs to be done we got to finish this screen patio I've got these corners I got, I got an idea for that we gotta I gotta get that going uh, <laughs> the awning on the outside needs done and you know just just small details uh, upstairs of course we need the railing done and the dog apartment you know, I just told you what needed done in there and I need to be using this space you know it's going to waste like this so I'm gonna get go ahead and insulate because it's gonna be a cold winter I can already tell it doesn't get this cold in November now it could warm up who knows but I don't think it's going to I think I mean I think our seasons as we knew it are history and I'm not a big global warming fanatic but something's going on because they're that last summer oh man and it wasn't so much the temperature it was the way the sun felt I noticed a difference maybe it's getting older but I noticed a difference in the intensity of the heat it was just you couldn't be out in it man so uh, before I start insulating up here because I had to remove this uh, whatever I did last and I need to cut all that crap back out and re-silicone it get that all waterproof before I start putting on that uh, insulation that's gonna make this room really nice and quiet uh, and if I want to add something to the ceiling later you know that'd be cool but I'll probably just put that white side down I don't know we'll see all right man let's go all right I got all the uh, shades removed wow this place is a mess you know I didn't create more space to be messy that's what's happening but after today no it isn't it isn't going to happen all right let me shoot a measurement get this stuff out of the way it's the story of my life everything's in the way we're going to start with these four because they're pretty much four foot might need a little trimming then we'll measure up front all right, so we're at 41. I want them to be tight also. Forty-one and a half. Forty-one and a half. Should be writing this down with my memory. Forty-nine and five-eighths. Forty-nine and three-quarters. Wouldn't be that bad. Forty-nine and three-quarters. I need to write this down. By forty-one and a half. Nine and three quarters by 41 and a half. Y'all remember that for me. All right. I got my marks. I bought a linoleum cutter. Figure that'll work good. And uh, I don't have any good workspace, man. So I'm going to do the best I can here. About good. Yeah, I don't think so. I 
I don't think so, but we're committed to not crying out loud, mother. Uh, need a workbench, man. Ruin that piece. Yeah, I could pull it up. I almost cussed. Because I'm aggravated. Alright, so that utility knife is a no-go. That thing did not work good at all. So let's try this. We got a piece of OSD here. And a kitchen knife. Just a very sharp one. Pick me up some styrofoam. Ah, oh, damn. You like to be a mustard on your styrofoam. Get out of here. Alright, let's try this, see if that works any better. Yep. I believe I need a straighter, a longer straight edge. Well, I reckon I need to turn around this away. That's what you need, a good sharp butcher knife. Ooh, I can already tell you, I can get up and down a whole lot better. All right, the idea is I want the white to the inside for lighting reasons. And then I don't want to be blinded by that reflective stuff. Although I don't think it would be too bad. That's not a very good cut, but it's going to fit. Why don't you get stuff out the way? It's too easy that way. <laughs> the little ah, oh, the little hangers for the stupid blinds. Forgot about them. We're not gonna fret it. We ain't gonna fret it. All right. Then what I'm gonna do once I get them all in, I've got some pieces of one by two. I'm gonna cut little strips about like that. Maybe one here, tack tack with the red nailer. Tack tack, tack tack, tack tack, so it don't blow in. All right, so we're gonna do that all the way around. And that's gonna prevent all that wind and it's gonna insulate it. Now let's go outside and see what it looks like. All right, I don't know how well y'all can see it. I got a bunch of these little pieces of stuff. I'm gonna pull this back out. I got these pieces of styrofoam stuck in there. I gotta wipe those off. That's gonna look pretty cool. The black screen keeps it from being real silvery. So I think that's gonna work out well. All right, I got the second one in. It went a little better. Uh, this stuff's, you know, not the highest quality stuff, but hey man, it's just gonna insulate a little bit. That's all I care about. It don't look that bad. Uh, the problem is I can't get I can only get one of these out of a 4 by 8 sheet <laughs> which sucks but the other piece is almost as big as this I can use that for, like for, on these windows it, it'll be fine if not I've got places up here and everywhere I can use it so none of it's going to go to waste uh, and I've been taking these eye hooks that were holding the blinds off I didn't mar any of that one up that one's that one's a little messed up but i'm gonna leave it 
you know this still is a screen patio and i'm not going to get this like the inside of the house the idea is to keep some of the wind out and you know let it be a little warm in here so hopefully that's this will do the trick and uh you know i'm just gonna peck away at it all right all right we got three of them done i think it looks pretty good i like that look i'm gonna hold off on this one and do the ones in front because all the lights coming out of this one i don't want to be working in the dark so we'll go ahead and put those ones on that'll take a little bit i can use up the scrap pieces that i had for those and then we'll put this last one up see what we got left and go from there all right what i'm gonna do on these uh all of these are like 49 inches an inch past uh 48 inches which is you know four by eight i don't have any length going the other way either so i'm going to cut these in two pieces i have that aluminum tape I'll just tape two together. It's going to serve the same purpose. You know, this isn't for, it's not the uh, screen patio beauty pageant. As long as it works, that's what I'm interested in. Hopefully I got enough scrap to, and this one here, I don't know. I'll, I'm going to have to cut into another one. But we'll see where I get. But as you can see, these last two went in a lot better. That knife was the key. Just these little dingleberries that come from that styrofoam. There ain't much you can do about that. But they're going to work out fine. I already feel a difference. There's no breeze in here anymore like there was. Uh, because that wall, that screen window there has got that little partial wall blocking it. So it's going to be nice. And I, I imagine when I get these pieces on, it's really going to be quiet in here. Might even be warm. Right, let me get, uh, I think I'll start with this one and see see where we can get with that i do got that aluminum tape but i hate to use that we'll see we'll see how good i can get it to look all right we got that piece in all i had to do is cut it like a four inch piece and put up here uh, you can't hardly tell out here and then i've got the door got the pieces in that pretty much using all the scrap that i had got these two left to do i must put that thing back in three four times the wind just keeps blowing it out so i got to put those strips there that's what you know <laughs> when i tell you the wind in arkansas is horrible it is and try working with this styrofoam in the wind that ain't no fun man i'm grabbing a sheet and it's blowing out of my hands <laughs> here it goes it's wanting to blow out again so I'll get them strips on there and uh, that should take care of that problem. Man, well, we're getting there. I'm liking how it's feeling. It's, it's already quieter. And so I got to cut these two and then this last big one. And then we'll see what we got left, what we can get done. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk through here and I'm gonna insert this piece of foam in this window right here don't you hate it when people over explain stuff on videos like that man you already know what i'm fixing to do i ain't gonna be like that let's go go in there and stick it in the daggum window Now, as you can see, it's in the winder. Now I'm gonna cut a four inch strip for the top. Right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. All right, there's what that side looks like. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Even with the strips on top, it don't look too bad. Well, that's what it's going to do that matters. Go on in here. And the wind, wind just keeps blowing this stuff right back out. So yeah, it's going to have to have strips. But see, it doesn't uh, make it too super dark in here. I don't know how good this camera... I can't even walk in here. There's so much junk. So much junk. I had to take that one out. It just every time I put it in, it blow back out. 
And so that's all I got left to do is that last one to cut. And I'll have to start a new fresh sheet. But I pretty much used every stitch of three sheets to do this. That one ain't a real good fit, but I'm going to leave it alone. Like I said, it's still a screen porch, you know. Uh, I don't really have the best tools to cut with. Uh, that butcher knife seemed to do the best. But it is what it is. All right, man. All right, pretty upset. Gust of wind just took two. Oh my God, this wind sucks. a whole lot of editing to do i was cussing all five of the sheets blew out of the truck i despise arkansas weather i have said that so many times it cost me so much money to live here with the wind oh i'm just mad this one's ruined blew all the way over here it blew one probably 30 feet in the air I've got them all over on the side of the chicken. Oh, man. Picked a hell of a day to do this. Let's see if I can get this back here. I'm sure you hear the wind. And this is the way it is all winter. All the way till probably May. So if you're ever thinking of moving to Arkansas, this is what you got to deal with. I think wind is the, out of all weather, wind is one I cannot stand the most. Uh, we've lost one it broke completely in half you can see how i'm fighting this broke one completely in half i think i can still use it for that window uh, blew every one of them out of the truck twenty dollars a sheet ruined i know this is horrible horrible video guys I gotta get this taken care of. <sighs> and I had two by fours sitting on top of that and it still blew it up. <sighs> yeah, I got a lot of editing to do. I used some F words and everything else. Boy, I was mad. <laughs> Look at this one. Snapped it right in half. And then I stuck that on top of it. It's got rusty water on it. Oh. Arkansas is not the dreamland you think it is. All right. Breaking the wind. I'm going to try to get this in the shed if I have room. I mean... You gotta work in the wind because it's it's always here. There you got hardly no room in there. This stuff is uh, super light. Alright, wind, stay still for a while. This is how it was when we were putting that metal roof on. We we wasted like three sheets, 26 foot long sheets, putting the roof on because of the wind.
All right, Waddle. I think you've ruined my day. I'm not done. Well, where's the other sheet? It's over there, broken half. That's what happens when I get three hours sleep last night. Uh. All right, guys. I'm aggravated. I'm gonna end the video because I'm done. Doesn't do me any good. To, doesn't do any good to be fighting this stuff in this wind. I'm gonna pick it up again in the morning. All I got left to do is that one piece. I'm gonna leave that one out. These will probably all blow out by the by the time uh, by the time tomorrow rolls around. So, well, we will get it finished. It's time to feed dogs anyway. And when I get this frustrated, best thing to do is just walk away from it. And I'm frustrated because I just lost this piece broke in half. I was hoping it was big enough yet for that window. It's four inches short. It won't go to waste, but uh, that's that's my sign to stop. Well, if you if you haven't subscribed to my channel you probably won't want to now but if you do i'd appreciate it give me a like give me an unlike not everything goes perfectly and this today was proof of that all right happy trails